these are the same price as the Dollar Tree ones. Now these things are, they randomly appear at Dollar Tree. Oh here, like these little natural wood slices, I actually need a couple more bags. And they've been completely sold out of Dollar Tree, so I think I'm going to grab a bag. If there's more here, I will buy more. I had a cute DIY in mind. Oh, see, like there's the little square wood beads. And these are a dollar here, so you can do a lot of farmhouse things. Oh, the little round wood beads are $1.25. Oh, this is cute. Just to be painted. Little mermaid. I love that they have all the numbers and the letters as well here. Ooh, the natural ones. These are perfect. And only for a dollar. So these ones here are at Dollar Tree as well. And I pay, we pay $1.25 in Canada. So I definitely saved myself a little bit of money buying them here. Lots of wood. Oh, the woodcraft cubes. Just like the ones that I almost like the ABC cubes. So at least those are not painted, which is nice. They have no letters. So it's super easy to stain or I like the jumbo sticks I also bought a set of these at the Dollar Tree so again I would have saved myself a little bit of money here I'm going to grab a pack of these because they're only a dollar and there's six of them. And I think Dollar Tree sells five for a dollar twenty-five if I'm not mistaken. And I mean, you kind of use these with glitter and just take a peek here what this stuff is. Two dollars for natural canvas. Hmm. And go through the acrylic stuff. I think there's a, I get a better value. Bottles are a little bit larger, I believe, at Dollar Tree. They do sometimes have, ah, so there's chalk paint, which is not common to find as easily at Dollar Tree. And then they also have the, um, sometimes I buy, ah, this is nice too. Sometimes I buy these here, so like the matte, triple thick, those kinds of things, kind of like a Mod Podge. Well, that one's really pretty colored too. And these ones are at Dollar Tree as well. Puffy paint. We actually did a huge craft for my daughter's birthday and we used all of these puffy paints. Well, they're not really puffy paint, just fabric paint. The kids had a blast making their own decorated t-shirts. So these are actually a better value here. They're only a dollar for a pack. And again, a dollar twenty-five at our Canadian Dollar Tree. Oh, mini glitter kits. See, these are a little bit less expensive than the other ones I found, with no glitter in them. So I'm gonna buy a pack of these because I have these ones here with nothing in them, and they're more expensive. I'll go return them to where they belong. C 
see, sometimes Dollar Tree gets these. And this is where the value is perfect because these kits are about $5 at Walmart as well. Um, definitely, and I, like these kinds of things are, have been found at Dollar Tree recently. So you'll save quite a bit of money. I'm going to take a peek next time I'm in, but I have bought Barbie ones. Oh, I've bought so many Crayola products at Dollar Tree. Oh, I just bought a pack of these at Dollar Tree a few weeks back. You really need to know your prices, so I paid a dollar twenty-five, and here they are for three dollars. Just have to be so careful when you're shopping these days. Pens are probably one of my weakness along with stationery, um, anything that's notebook related, paper and pens. So I always have to take a peek here along with stickers and crafts and stuff, but this is one of my other favorite aisles for sure. I just love to check out new pens and see the prices and all of that stuff. So I'll take you down this aisle, kind of just peeking at what I see that's a good value. These erasers are actually really great erasers. I've seen some similar notebooks like this at Dollarama. Ooh, yikes. These are a little too expensive here. $6 for the large one, $3 for the smaller one. Mm, Dollarama definitely has a better value. And the tiny, teeny tiny ones have been found at Dollar Tree as well before with the flip because I've bought them before. I always like seeing if there's plain page notebooks. Oh, these look interesting. Body art painting markers. My daughter, I think, would like that, but I wouldn't want to encourage writing on your body with markers. I'm not sure. These are nice for her whiteboard. Ooh, a little bit pricey, too. Oh, this is, um, these are 
three packs. Oh, there's a four pack on those. Not too bad. Let's see if there's anything here that catches my eye. Oh, I love my metal ruler. I do use this quite often in my crafting stuff. It's a handy little tool to have because my fuse tool and stuff won't burn it. Oh, I actually need some rubber bands. I think I'm going to grab a pack of these super colorful ones. They're fun. I always like looking at their labels, see if there's anything good for crafting, paper crafting especially. Sometimes you find some gold foiling. Ooh, these are a Dollar Tree. Wow. You really have to be careful. Along with these little gems, these are all at Dollar Tree. Again, you can save yourself a little bit of money. They're a little more pricey here. Oh, some fun fruits. Mango, they look real. This is not bad at all, especially if you're doing something with lemons. I know that the lemon thing is really in right now. And the bake of shells. I have so many seashells I've picked along the ocean coast that I just have in my craft room ready to go for little nautical themed DIYs. These are really cute little felt flowers. I can make something like that. Oh, this is not bad at all. Have some wood. If you're doing DIYs with the wood slate slots. I do like looking. Oh, this is glass. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. I don't need one, but this is a great value. Michael sell, sells these for $15 plus. $1.50 for these little guys. This is gorgeous. I wish I needed one. I just did a really cute DIY on my channel using this like nautical themed rope. So if you're looking for some, you can have access to it as well here. Oh, these are cute. They're iridescent. They're, iridescent. They're really heavy. I love this blue. Love it. So beautiful. This one's more like a turquoise or teal, but I love the navy blue. Oh my goodness, how cute are these? Little cacti warmers, tea light warmers. And these are a Dollar Tree as well, because I think I even have like a blue, light blue one. I love when I spot things that are like at both stores, because I'm like, oh wow, I got a better deal, or this is a better deal here. These are like a wood. I'm wondering if I could do something with these. Like looking at the home decor things, their prices are a lot. This area here is a lot more expensive than the rest of the store. So once in a while I'll just come down it, but it's typically the same things. Like you'll find these big giant glass bowls. See, I find that their prices are a little bit on the higher end because if you go to Home Sensor, you will find these things for a little bit less money. And I find maybe even a little bit better quality. It's hard to film these big giant things one hand and I'm tilting it with the other. I can't get under there. We'll see like these chalk writers, there's a two pack. This is this is um, good to know because sometimes the Dollar Tree runs out of the white chalk markers and I absolutely love working with those. I've done some really fun DIYs on the channel using them. Oh, these are sweet. Little white doves. I'll just go through some of the stuff here and see if there's anything new for my crafting needs. These are glass. Mm. 
You just put like a rose or something in it, I guess. You can fill it with water and oh, these ones are pretty too. Just a simple type of wedding decor. I'll take us down the storage. I'll take a look at sometimes their storage containers and stuff like that. I just like comparing them. These are good for like stationary pens, pencils, that kind of stuff. Oh, the milk. Oh, I love these. I have a couple of these in my craft room, but a little bit bigger. The milk crate style storage. Go through the kitchen things and see what's new here. I love these too for storage purposes in my craft room. I use them for my glitter and different things like that. And gold foil. These are nice baskets. They're really large. I wish they had white. They have one here. Hmm. See, I find these at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar twenty-five. They're a little bit different, but I love this. So cute. Oh, mermaid tail banner. Here's the two colors. That's not bad at all for five dollars. Like if I made this with my Cricut, I'd pay a lot more. Some really cute mermaid themed stuff here for birthdays. And the prices are actually not bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to go down this aisle. This one I usually take my time in. It's a lot of the craft items that I gravitate towards for, you know, my paper crafting and stamping, stickers, beads, all sorts of stuff. So we'll go down this aisle here together. Oh, see, like I bought this at Dollar Tree before. So it depends. Like some, oh, here, look at the clear stamps. Two dollars. So I, I bought those at Dollar Tree and I use them in a lot of my DIYs that I've shared with you guys. Look at this. These were at Dollar Tree as well. And they're only a dollar here. Same with these ones. They're cute tags. They have these as well. Look, you guys always ask me where I bought them. I buy them at Dollar Tree, but here they are too for the same price. Three in a pack. Now I know there's another place for them. And beading jewelry cords. So the Craft Medley, as you recognize, is a brand that's at the Dollar Tree regularly stocked. So a lot of these are going to be very similar in pricing. Um, so it's nice to know if some things are a dollar here, then I can definitely grab them here rather than buying them at Dollar Tree. But I just kind of have to remember what's here and what's at the other store because I do go to Dollar Tree a lot more, so things end up in my basket a lot faster. See, these are a dollar here, and they're the same ones at Dollar Tree. It's almost like I have to go back and watch this video footage afterwards when I'm at Dollar Tree and be like, oh, what do they have at your dollar store with more? This is a great little kit too. Wow. See, that's something I should probably buy if I get back into my beading. Take a look at some of these. Um, notepads. These used to be at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them in forever. They used to have these exact little perfect prints. Oh, has anyone tried this glue tape runner? Let me know if you have. It's blue. I've tried the white one and been happy with it, but I'd like to see how the blue one works. Oh, you guys have recommended this double-sided tape, and I have never tried it. And these are, these were discontinued at Dollar Tree for a while, but now they're back. 
and I had bought a few of them, so I'm fully stocked for quite some time. Let's go down all these little beads and trinkets and, oh my goodness, so many little packages to look at. I buy these little packets at Dollar Tree all the time, so definitely a better value at Dollar Tree. They're two dollars here. Go down the seed beads and pearl, the little pearl bead type bony, bony, pony beads. Oh, these I buy at Dollar Tree as well. Yeah, so some of these glass pearls are better value at the other store. Seed beads. It really depends on what packages you're picking up. Oh, look at this. There's a nice variety here for $1.25. And here's a single chalk writer. So now they're in two areas. But a little bit less expensive at Dollar Tree. Ooh, these are good to have. Wine markers. That's a nice part of a little gift if you're going to give a bottle of wine. It's like a hostess gift or at Christmas and put it in the little wine markers. These are beautiful for $1.25. Gorgeous embellishments. Beautiful, beautiful, especially if you're doing scrapbook layouts. Things like little rainbows and unicorns, shells. How beautiful are these? And little mermaids. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. And the price is just right. You'd pay so much money for something like this at Michael's. This is really in like the little pineapples and flamingos and palm trees. Those are mirrored. These are just little gems. These are less expensive at Dollar Tree though. I like the little enamel dots too. I've made my own but those are really pretty. And the little starfish. Oh my gosh, these are so Little unicorns. These ones are found at Dollar Tree as well. So many stickers. <laughs> I love stickers. <gasps> Look at these. So beautiful. If you're a peacock fan. So nice. These is a these are at Dollar Tree as well. Oh, these are fun. I haven't spotted these at Dollar Tree yet. Super fun. Very light-hearted type stickers. Oh, these are quite
really nice as well. So many things to choose from. Oh my gosh, I have to be so careful. I love these. And there's like puffy stickers and foiled stickers and oh my gosh, my favorite aisle. Oh, I want to let you guys know this is a great package, a great value. You've got 20 for $7. I don't think anywhere near me will I find these for this price. So anyways, this was my quick walkthrough. Well, I wouldn't say quick because I did break this up into two, two videos. This was my super long walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed walking um, through your dollar store with more. I look forward to sharing my haul with you guys very soon. And I'm just going to check out on the other side here. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day. Bye for now.